Hi, in this video you will learn how to edit animation effects of our animation templates. Let us take a look at this template. Let me go to the slideshow mode and show you what kind of animation is applied to the various elements here. When I click, I get the blue color converted to green. So I talk about my first point. Then I talk about the second point when that is changed. And then I go to the next one and the next one and the next one and so on. So it's a very simple template where on click, one of the shapes is changing color. So that is the animation that is currently on in this template. Now let us see what are the ways in which you can manipulate the animation that is shown here. First thing is to go to the animations tab and click on animation pane. So you can clearly see the kind of animations that are shown. Now let us try and see what are the ways in which we can change this. The first option is you select the animation and you can change the effect options for the specific animation. In this case, you can see that the animation applied is fill color animation and the change of color is to this color, which is fluorescent green color. Let us say I want to change the color to say yellow, I can do that very easily. I go to the effect options and here I can choose the color to which it needs to change. For example, if I want to choose this darker orange color, I can have that done. So when I go to the slideshow mode, when I talk about the first point, the first point gets changed into the orange color instead of the green color. The second point is still in the green color because we have not done any change here. So that is the first one. That is you can change the effect options of any given animation. The second thing is instead of one animation that is already there, you can have another animation. For example, if instead of fill color option here, let us say I want to have complement, complementary color option. As you can see here, the color that is complementary to this blue seems to be purple. So when I go to the slideshow mode and when I click the color changes automatically. So that is the animation that is applied. So that is another option you have, which is you can change the animation itself. The next thing is you can choose to add another animation to the existing one. Remember whenever you click on this and you apply another animation here in the animation group, then the existing animation is replaced with the new animation. Whereas if you want to add another animation while retaining the existing animation, you need to go to this option called as add animation. Let us say in this case, after the color changes to the complementary color, I want it to fly out. And I need to have that fly out to the right, let us assume. So this is what is the effect that I want. Now the new animation that I added automatically gets added to the last. Now we know that it needs to be right after the first one. So I am going to click and hold that animation and move its position to where I want in this specific animation pane order. The next thing is, as you can see here, this shows that this animation is going to be on click. I don't want that. It has to happen after the previous animation. So I can go here. And instead of starting on click, I can have this after previous. So if I have to just read this in plain English, on the first click, there is going to be a change in the shape fill of this one to its complementary color. And after that is done, automatically, this shape is going to fly out. So that is what is going to happen. Let us see if that is what is really going to happen. Let us go to the slideshow mode on click it is changed into a different color and it has flown out. Can you see how you can edit the various properties of the animation? The next thing is if I want to increase the speed of animation, then I can reduce the duration. So I'm going to have instead of the animation playing out for 0.5 seconds, this time I want to play it only for 0.25 seconds. I can do that. Now I can see that these kind of animations have much longer duration, whereas this one is much shorter. The same way, if I want to increase this flying out to be slowly and in a pronounced way, I can do that. Instead of the 0.5 as the duration of the animation, I can choose to have this 
to say one second. Now, when it flies out, it will fly out slowly. Maybe I can do it to two seconds so you can clearly observe what is happening. So I have done two things. One, I have reduced the duration for the first animation so it happens very quickly. And the second animation, I've increased the duration so it goes out very slowly. So let us see the impact now. I go to slideshow mode and it changes immediately into the color and it has gone out very slowly. So that is how you alter the timing. I've also shown you how exactly to reorder the animation by having this animation that was there introduced towards the end. I moved it to whichever position I wanted by just clicking and dragging the animation to its desired location. So that was the next thing that I wanted to show. The one final thing that I wanted to show you is to add a delay. Now let us say this one is now going to play after the first one for two seconds. Now let us say there needs to be a delay of say 0.5 seconds before the second one happens. Let us see how that one pans. So instead of 0.5, let us say 0.1 second. So you can very clearly see that this is not immediately going away. Now let us go to the slideshow mode. On the first click, it changes into the complementary color and it waits for a second and then it goes out. So that is the effect of delay. So instead of happening immediately, that is immediately after previous, it has happened after the one second, which is very clearly seen here visually as well. So those are some of the ways in which you can alter the properties of animation that is already there in our animated templates. Of course, at any point of time, you want to remove the animation for any of these elements. You can always select the various animations here and just press delete. And now when you go to the slideshow mode, you will not see any animation. So that is the way to remove animation in case you don't want. One of the key things I want you to remember is there is a lot of work that goes behind creating the kind of effects that we create in our animation templates. Let me show you the behind the scenes of some of our templates. Take a look at this template and see the amount of animation that has gone behind creating the kind of impact you, you see here. Let us see the slideshow mode. On the first impact, you see that these are the things that are happening and the title slide comes in. Now let us go to another slide and I'll show you what kind of effect happens here. Can you see the amount of animation that goes here? Let us go to the previous one and here again you see a whole bunch of animation happening in each of these cases. So what I suggest is you don't really change much of the animation effects that are already there because there is a purpose why certain animation is created the way it is. If you want to have a different animation, I suggest you choose a different template so you can have the kind of animation you require. A good idea would be for you to take a look at the various animated options here and finally choose the one that you think is the right one. The best way to work with our animation templates is for you to go through some of the templates a couple of times so you get familiar with the kind of animation effects we have used in the different templates. So that way you can choose the exact template you want with the exact animation effect. So that is the way to work with our animation templates. Remember at any point of time, you can always edit the nature of animation by going to the animation pane and making the alterations required. Hope you got some very interesting tips from this specific video. In the next video, I'll show you some other ways in which you can manipulate or edit our templates. See you in the next video.